I guess my guilty pleasure would be french fries and a glass of wine after a performance. Yeah. The sound of the piano, the greatest instrument in the world. Well, it's election night and I hate hearing commentators just go blah, blah, blah without having any real information. Uh, I think there's a little bit too much talk that goes on before people really have substance. So I guess on election night 2012, I would say uh, less talk. And more well, I think less than who inspires me is that our world inspires me, you know, just every day when you see the leaves change color or um, when you meet someone that really touches you. You know, tonight there's a couple of great performers on, um, Charlie Puth and Noisoka, you know, hearing live music, that really inspires me. Um, I, I guess music, music in this world, nature, I'm really inspired by nature too. Well, I was an artist. I was trained as an artist, so I would be in photography or art. Um, I'm a creative person. I have to always be doing something. Um, I think that we need to bring our own spirit, our own um, ideas about life. I think that that's what music is. It's just a way of looking at our world. That's what a, a, any artist does. They present their vision of this world and, and preferences. And so you have to bring your heart and your spirit and your soul and your love, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, I'm really into the pianist Timothy Andrus, who went to Yale. And um, he's doing some two piano stuff. And then um, as a vocalist, I really like that Jose James. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's incredible. Saw him at UCLA. Um, so those are two, that's a vocalist and a pianist that I really think are, are great right now. That not everybody knows about the work. Um, Timothy Andrus, what he's doing is very 21st century, but you know, it ties in with jazz too. Oh, <laughs> well, um, I'm going to admit this on camera, but I suffered from extreme performance anxiety for a really long time. And when I went to music school, college, um, I decided to, part of the reason I decided to drop out is so I didn't have to perform. And so it's taken me a while to come back from that, but I'm proud that I addressed those fears and, and moved on. So. I guess my first performance experiences were scary. <laughs> um, my pre-show ritual is to get your work done ahead of time. You should be prepared a day or two or a week beforehand because you can't um, cram for a performance. You know, you can't stay up all night and, and get it all in. That doesn't work. So my pre-show performance thing is just to kind of relax and feel good. And, um, see what happens.